Working as a health optimization assistant with some of the world's busiest entrepreneurs, one of the things I do get asked a lot and come across a lot with clients is how can I reduce my fat face? I've got a keynote coming up. I need to look really chiseled when it comes to my face. I need to reduce my double chin. And unfortunately, you can't spot reduce your actual facial fat. Your body reduces fat over the whole entire area. You can't spot reduce. And now the problem is, is that your body holds on to fat in the places where it needs to protect vital organs. So it's gonna lose fat off its arms, off your lower legs, off your upper chest, off your upper back, before it loses fat off your face and off your stomach and upper thighs. Why? It's called survival. However, there are some things that you can do in order to make sure you don't have as much bloatedness, have as much water retention, and make your face actually appear thinner than it is. There are gonna be those people that have those bastard genetics that have a really chiseled face but have a big gut. And they can hide that in clothes when they're on stage to a degree. But the two things I get asked a lot for clients that have big keynote presentations coming up that are presenting at multiple masterminds is how can I drop my body fat and how can I make my chin, my jawline look chiseled? Now, those things, those three things are gonna be Look at your intolerances, look at your stress levels, and look at your sleep. The first two all get impacted by the third one. Now, your intolerances. Certain foods are gonna make inflammation happen in your body. Inflammation that your body isn't actually ready for. Inflammation that is going to add water retention around your organs, whether viscerally, internally, or around your body. A lot of times, if people have a load of rubbish food, a load of junk food, high processed sugar, eating a load of junk and just binging out, they end up bloating up in the face. I know that if I have a really high calorie day or I want to go and enjoy some real tasty junk food or something, Hashtag nacho life, three times a day. The next day, all that dairy, a bit of gluten in there, I will probably feel very bloated. And one of the things that happens there is my face. My face doesn't look the same as it does for the rest of the week. It goes down after two, three days. But honestly, if that happens on a Saturday or Sunday, I myself get conscious about recording a video on a Monday. A lot of people can't notice it, but I myself get conscious about recording that video on a Monday if it happens. Full disclosure. I'm aware of it. I'm aware of having that food, knowing the implications that are going to happen, and we do it. Now, that is one of the things, intolerances. If you have an intolerance to a certain food, not everyone does. Gluten is not always the devil here, but it can be. Just like dairy, in fact, most foods... Even these superfoods can have an impact on your body that causes water retention. If you're suffering from high levels of anxiety, if you're suffering from high levels of stress, your digestion isn't gonna work as effectively as possible. Your body is there for fight or flight and all these levels of stress that are in the body are gonna stop the digestion happening. And that's where it comes to managing stress as well. The more we can get breathing in, the more we can get meditation in, the more we can get, dare I say it, mindfulness in, journaling, good practice, blue light blocking, all these things are gonna help manage your stress levels. None more so than sleep. Sleep is gonna be great because sleep, getting the right levels of sleep, getting into deep regenerative sleep, not sedated sleep where you're under sedation of alcohol, where you have that wine, those pints of beer and those bottles of beer in the nighttime to chill the fuck out. But you end up going to sleep sedated rather than ready to regenerate. That, that can increase your water retention around your face too. If we can sleep good levels, we're going to help boost our good hormones are uh, hormones like testosterone that are gonna help you feel good, feel revitalized, feel energized. So you're gonna wake up feeling more refreshed. 
if we sleep for less than six hours a night, for two weeks, studies have shown we can age ourselves by 10 to 15 years hormonally. What happens also with that if you have bad sleep? You wake up with big bags under your eyes. Big bags under your eyes. Because your body hasn't been able to rejuvenate. Your body hasn't been able to recover. Your liver, your kidneys aren't functioning as well as they could do. Discoloration, bags under your eyes. These are all signs that there is something going on with stress in your body. Therefore... If you have a big keynote coming up, don't come to me three, four days before, but if you are speaking, if you are a presenter, if you have keynotes coming up, if you have events coming up, come and see me. I guarantee what we will do, we will boost your confidence for that event, through nutrition, through mindset work. We will make sure that your training is on point so it doesn't overly stress you. We will make sure we reframe the stress to a degree it doesn't just make you feel good, doesn't just make you boost your confidence, doesn't just make your body look great, but your jawline is going to make you, it's going to be just be ridiculous, it's going to make you feel so great on stage, you are going to have the jawline that rocks the stage more than Tony Robbins. Guarantee. Give me a message.